Where are you going tonight? All right, hop in. You're looking at a photograph I got my grandma. Sorry, great grandma. Was that great great? Things get so confused when you try to unravel the past. The truth gets lost in opinion and lies. That's what I think. You can't be back there. I've been t not been out of your way for a while. You know the photograph had me flummoxed. I tried to read the lines in the old lady's face, as if I was palm reading in a verse. Towards the past. You know, like I could see it or something. She looks a bit harsh, severe. She's got a mixture of a jaw and my sister, and the cheeks have grown to my cousin. Though they don't look nothing alike. I can't see myself in my great grandmother though. No one can look at themselves like others see them. Even you look in the mirror, can they? I'm told I stick my chin out when I concentrate. Can't see it when I look in, the, in my reflection. I never do that squinty eye thing either that people tell me about. My eyes look straight back at me. Do you do that squinty eye thing, mate? Do you have any, got any funny habits? Look a bit sleepy. You asleep, mate? When I look at the photo, you know, I look deep into her eyes, trying to contact with her soul. She's in there somewhere. She looks tough, like she knows it all. Perhaps this is her photo face. Her daughter, my grandma, looks at her like she's praying to a god or something. Would you believe it? Like she was a god? This one's the photo, the one to be obeyed. Or is that love in the ch daughter's eyes? I never quite understand love. Never been in it, that's why. Love can make you do anything, that's what my friend Jake says. Like I say, you can't really know anybody, can you? Oh, I agree. You can know their habits and the way they move their face and bodies. You might be able to predict the way they might react in certain circumstances. But you don't really know them. Not in their soul. Everyone could, can be lying to you now, about everything. You could even be lying to yourself, about yourself. Have you ever thought about that? Really thought about it, like... I'd think about the, the big things in life, me. Even Jay, who I trust in my life, he could be lying. He's an out there sort of bloke. Tells like it is. I like a person like that. Means you know where you stand. Sometimes I tell Jake that and he laughs and says, You know where you stand, Bob? Nowhere. It's a joke. I know him. I know I'm important to him. You going to footy? We're going, we're going to footy. You've been to footy, mate. Fratton Park? No. You asleep? Me and Jake stand shoulder to shoulder, earning abuse. After a point, just like you should. To tell the truth, I don't like beer. It tastes like soapy water. After the fifth one, I, I could drink a dirty puddle, though. So I don't really care. I woke up in some strange places, though, after getting plastered. Sometimes I woke up in strange beds, with a pang of fear in my gut. But it's alright. There's always a lovely lady next to me. Well, perhaps I could leave, them, I could leave out the word lovely. Jake's has amazing taste in ladies. They always have necessary bits and, and pieces. No more, no less. And what more could a man want, eh? That world's you lobster, mate, if you can't if you don't discriminate on age, size, and plain poor ugliness. You're the chance choice of the world with attitude, he says. Sometimes the memories make me want to puke. There are things that I don't want to recall, like that one. Oh Oh no matter. You don't really want to eat that, do you? Being a tough driver, I'm always afraid that I'll get in the car and drunk. You know, being in a band and all that. Then where would I be? I know what I've got myself to keep. But even so, Jake said I wouldn't do that because I'm incapable of endure when I'm lathered. Still capable of doing other things, though, he say. Always shoving me on the shoulder, he says that. And seems to think he needs to shout in my ear. No matter, at least he's there for me. My usual patch is Elm Grove in South Sea. Well, I picked you up. There are those jinkies and Indians there. And people are allowed to get after clubbing. You have to go careful, mind. You don't want to stick in the cab. Or well, people think they're drawing the equivalent of the Mile High Club. You wouldn't do that to me, would you, mate? I watch people walking as, I, as I'm driving along and looking for a fare. You see plenty of puffs just sniffing each other's asses. Not literally. I don't mean. I mean, talk to each other. Like the mouth are going to meet any second for a kiss. And stroke each other's hair. It ain't right. Shouldn't be allowed. We should bring back the bother boys. They'd put them right. Send them home with a good beating. That'll, put them that'll turn them straight. Jay's got an important job in London. Plenty of people under me, Bob. Doing everything I asked them to do. He'd shove me in the shoulder and bellow. A laugh in my ear. My stomach would do a, stra do a strange jump. 
must be a sudden noise or something. Everybody likes Jake. He got loads of friends. I've always tended to have a, a small group of friends. I was even like at school. Now it's only Jake. I never let him know that. I tell him things about made of friends. I don't want him to think I'm a loser. Jake's got it all. He's a real looker. What with his Latin looks and all that. I think I got I get leftovers on those nights out. You know, the ones who want him and put up with me instead. Not that I'm sure. I never really remember what happens in those nights. Do you ever do that, mate? I don't suppose you do. Still feel sleepy. Hey? Let's bloody Gemma come along, all aisles and tits and opinions. Her friend's called Ella. But she ain't very Ella like to me. She reminds me of a rabbit hung up in a butcher shop. All stretched flesh and bulging eyes. She wears cardies as she wraps round herself like she wants to hide. And this she's a big bag of chips being wrapped in newspaper. She ain't Gracie though, she's dry, hard. Her bulging eyes see everything, make assumptions, believe things that aren't true. Sneaking about me and Jake. At night I wake up after nightmares and Ella and Get Gemma are talking about me. I can never hear what they say though. Gemma's got a claw, good claws in shape, good and proper. He has to ask to go out on an evening. I hardly see him now. You know, it isn't fair the way she pushes me out. I was there first. But at least Jake's happy. It's the most important thing. The other night I was driving along trying to pick out all the gays. Just so I'd be safe, you know, what they like, what they do to a man. Just so I'd be safe. You know what they do to a man. Bit of a worry that. When I saw Jimmy with another bloke, and their mouths were close to kissing. And their mouths weren't close to kissing, they were kissing. Now don't get me wrong, mate. I don't like playing Judge Jewel Executioner. I'll live and let live, that's me. How could she take Jake from me, and then squander him? I got out of the car, I did. Walked right up to them. Gemma, bold as brass, didn't bat an eyelid. Turned to me and told me to piss off. She lit Dutch pay she did. Something inside me exploded. I just wanted to fill a sport brat face in. But suddenly, Jake came between us, telling me that I should calm down go home. Jake, you're going out of the hall. You should have, been, you should have seen what she was doing with him. I did see. I was watching Gemma. did it for me. We were all going home now. He pushed me back as anger made me reach forward to hit Gemma. We three, not you, were going home to share a bed. If what Gemma likes and what Gemma likes, Gemma gets. Now piss off. So Jake's a puffer. And you guess they? And a perf too. You'll get what's coming to him though one of these days. There's no good ever comes of being different. That's my old grandma used to say. You and I, you know, I watched their front door at night. See all the men coming and going. One day, he'll see what he's doing is wrong. And he'll come back to me. Where he belongs. And you know what, mate? I got my own back. So early in the night, looking for a taxi. Wouldn't take no for an answer. Now, as a woman with all the bits in the right places, even though she's a bit something sin. Here we are, mate. Thanks for the tip. Glad you're nice, Kip. See you soon.